Hi, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. If you're shopping for a tractor and you're on a budget, you may be looking at an older model of tractor and the brand, the name on the side of the tractor, doesn't exist anymore. And you may wonder, who do I get to work on this and where do I get parts for it? Well, today I'm going to give you a broad overview of how around a dozen pretty good-sized tractor companies have merged into and evolved into three major companies in North America with four different brands. And let's start today with the obvious one that has not been through any mergers or acquisitions, and that's John Deere. John Deere's never been bought by anybody. They've never been through any major mergers or acquisitions. If you need parts for a John Deere tractor, go to your John Deere dealer. The other two companies are really kind of difficult to explain, and, and uh, they've, they've got quite a heritage. I'm going to start today with Agco, and that's a company that I got my start in the ag equipment business working for. I worked for them 11 years. And Agco actually stands for the Alice Gleaner Company, and its roots are with Alice Chalmers. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Before we do that, let's talk about uh, three major brands that came together uh, early in the 60s. And that's Oliver, and then Oliver's kind of sister company that sold a lot of tractors in Canada, Cockshut, and then Minneapolis Moline. Those three tractor companies were purchased, Oliver in 1960, Cockshut in 1962, and Minnie Mo in 1963 by the White Motor Company. And they were folks that made semi-truck uh, uh, tractors. They, uh, the White Freightliner was their product. And they decided they wanted in the tractor business and later decided they didn't want to be in the tractor business. But they bought those three brands and made those three brands until 1975. And then they phased out all three brands and, and, and started their own brand, the white tractor, which ironically was painted silver. Go figure. And that company was bought out by Agco in 1991. So that's one end of the Agco company. Let's talk about the Alice end of the Agco company. Alice Chalmers was a huge global um, farm equipment company uh, for a lot of years. But in the 1980s, uh, ag conditions were really, really bad in North America and they were forced to sell out in 1985 to KHD, or Klockner Humboldt Deutz of Germany. And uh, Deutz came in with a Deutz Alice tractor, which was a totally different tractor than Alice had sold. It was air-cooled. It was a good product, uh, but it wasn't well-received by the North American farmer. And uh, by 1990, they wanted out of the business, and they turned around and sold what was left of the company to their senior management team, and Agco at that point was formed, and uh, again they offered uh, they they couldn't offer an Alice Chalmer tractor because somebody else owned that name. They offered an Agco Alice tractor, and they bought the White Tractor Company in 1991. Shortly after that, they were able to purchase Massey Ferguson, and Massey is an old time uh, global uh, tractor company. They've sold lots of units all over the world, and uh, as time went on. Agco decided to phase out the White Tractor Company and the Agco Alice uh, tractor, and they rolled all of that into Massey, Massey Ferguson. So in North America today, if you want parts for an Oliver, a Cockshut, a Minneapolis Moline, a White Tractor, an Alice Chalmers, a Deutz Alice, or an Agco Alice, go to your Massey dealer. Now, one other thing about Agco, they've got three other brands. They have a Challenger brand, a Fent brand, and a Valtra brand, or Valtra, I'm not exactly sure how to say that, and they have separate dealer networks, but their main line is Massey Ferguson. Now, the other company I want to talk about is CNH, and CNH stands for Case New Holland, and, and let's start with the Ford Motor Company. Ford Motor Company was huge in tractors. I mean, there's probably more 8N tractors around than any other model, and, and uh, they bought out New Holland in 1986, and it became Ford New Holland, and in 1991, they sold to a company called Fiat from Italy. There were some Fiat tractors already in North America. Uh, Fiat had tried to market their tractor through Heston dealers, which is part of the Agco world. And so you have Fiat tractors that are floating around that your Agco dealer may have sold. But in order to get parts, you really need to go through New Holland. So if you've got a, a, a Heston tractor or a Fiat Heston tractor, uh, a little tough to get parts for them because there's two different people that have jurisdiction over that. 
Now let's go over to the red side and talk about International, Farmall, McCormick, Deering, Case, and David Brown. Let's start with David Brown. David Brown was a fairly major company. In 1972, they were purchased by Case. In 1984, Case purchased International. And International Harvester was Farmall, uh, McCormick, the old McCormick tractors are part of that family, and there was a company called Deering, and that was part of International Harvester. So in 1999, to just about everyone in the business's surprise, Case IH was purchased by Fiat and, and spun off into CNH or Case New Holland. So today, CNH is either New Holland or Case, and they have two separate dealer organizations with two sometimes similar, sometimes identical, sometimes not product lines. But if you want parts for an older Ford or Ford New Holland and some of the Fiat's, as I mentioned, or Heston tractors, go to your New Holland dealer. If you want parts for David Brown, Case, Farmall International, um, and some of those older Farmall era, International Harvester era tractors, you want to go to your Case dealer. They also own a company called, or a, a tractor called Steiger, uh, a big articulated tractor. So that's how about a dozen tractor companies have, have merged and gone through acquisitions. And there's been some outside investors in there I didn't mention and some outside companies that have owned some of these for a period of time. But now we've got Deere, uh, Case IH, and New Holland, and, and Massey Ferguson as the major players in the North American market. So that kind of gives you a guide to where you want to go for parts. So that is kind of a history lesson of farm tractors in North America. And uh, this chart that I've used uh, in this presentation, if you want a copy of that, I'd be glad to email it to you. Just drop me a line at mike at asktractormike.com and put in the subject you'd like the tractor uh, diagram, and I'll send it right to you. I survive on web traffic. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. If you have questions or comments, put them down below. We'll try to get back with you. Thanks for watching.